In the Williamson County town of Bartlett, a prison is making a comeback. The state closed the Bartlett unit in 2017 because there just weren't enough inmates. But now it's opening back up, and as KXN's Barrett Tryon explains, the city is welcoming the jail's return. It used to be full of uh, antique shops and stuff, and it's kind of gone away. Emily Cruz owns the red and white grocery store right in the middle of Bartlett. She's used to a busy lunch crowd, one she hopes will get busier when the jail returns later this fall. People are writing about it on Facebook, saying they're excited because a lot of people, um, you know, don't have rides necessarily or gas is so high right now. People can't afford to leave town and work. Personally, I believe it's a good thing for Bartlett. It's a good thing for our region. Uh, we're creating 300 jobs right here inside of Bartlett. Outside the jail, which will now officially be known as the Bartlett unit, it's a little quiet, yet changes are happening you cannot see from the outside. The Texas Department of Justice says the Bartlett unit will also offer inmates new options, including living in dorms and specialized programs to help them before they get released. Bringing more foot and car traffic back. It's nice and cozy out here. A lot of new things are happening. To a city that's been standing still. In Bartlett, Barrett Tryon, KXAN News. And according to U.S. Census data, as of 2020, about 1,600 people lived in Bartlett, and the jail will have a capacity of 1,049 inmates. Later this month, the city will be hosting a hiring event for the 300-plus jobs the jail needs to fill. We do have details on our website at kxan.com if you are interested in applying. It is set to officially open in October. Going in depth right now, the Texas Department of Criminal Justice is dealing with critically low staffing shortages. So Texas Texas officials began working to change this by offering a salary increase for correctional officers in 2022 and also by creating several programs to increase recruitment and retention across the state. To learn more about those programs, you can head over to our website at KXAN.com. All you have to do is search TDCJ Continued Staffing Challenges. The TDCJ plans on the inmate population increasing over the next several years. In December of 2022, the inmate population in our state was around 125,000, which was an increase of about 7,000 from earlier that year. And as of October of last year, there were 130,000. This is all according to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice.